we're talking with Dr. Henry West regarding alternative medicine treatments versus traditional medical treatments. Dr. West, if, if alternative medicine is so great, why isn't everybody using it? Well, the other question, if a treatment that predominantly treats symptoms and has so many side effects, why is anybody using it? The answer to both questions is very simple. It's the business of medicine and the pharmaceutical industry that determines what is mainstream medicine. If traditional medicine has so many side effects, why is anybody using it? If it's profitable to something in the medical industry, it could be accepted. Whether it is <clears throat> uh, vitamin C or magnesium, it's not patentable. God's already got the patent. So it's not going to be mainstream medicine. Another procedure that works very well for prolozone therapy is plantar fasciitis or chronic foot pain. Typically the presentation of plantar fasciitis is pain along the foot and characteristic trigger point pain along the heel. With the prolozone therapy, we come in with our B12 and homeopathics in a manner like this, inject those sore or trigger points followed up by the prolotherapy. Another very rewarding and exciting clinical treatment program that we have is something called neural therapy, or the removal of interference fields from the body. We have these energy pathways that go up and down the body called meridians that are named after the, either the organ that they go through or the organ that they influence. And when we have something that disrupts those energy pathways, we can have chronic conditions and pain set in. Take for example this scar. This scar is on the inside of the leg and has possible interferences in the kidney and the spleen meridian. It can cause knee pain, ankle pain, or referred pain to organs within the body cavity. One of the ways that we take care of this is by doing neural therapy. Neural therapy means we take B12 and homeopathic, go just underneath the scar, and quaddle or create almost like a mosquito bite in the scar. As we clean this area with a cotton ball, we take our syringe of B12 homeopathics and a very fine needle and we are going to go underneath the lesion and bubble the scar or quaddle the scar. This effectively removes the interference field pathways for this region and these energy pathways. After we've cleaned the surface, we simply take the needle, go underneath the scar, and make the scar start to bubble. Sometimes you have patient accidentally or not on purpose move affected body parts above or below, which is what's happening with our patient here. Her toes are involuntarily moving. We just blood the scar as we go down the scar surface, like so. This has had a tremendous positive clinical experience for many common chronic neuromusculoskeletal, which means muscles, nerves, and joints, as well as some internal disorders related to tummy tucks, and cesarean sections. Anywhere in the body where there's a scar, a rash, eczema, atopic dermatitis can create a possible interference field and we can treat those conditions similar to this one.